Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Israel Automation Channel. Today I am going to discuss about the Git tagging. So we'll see what are Git tags and types of Git tags available and how we create a tags and how we show the tags from command line and push the tags to the remote from the command line and delete the tags which are created already. So we'll see all step by step. So do follow this entire session so that you can understand the different commands used to manage this Git tags and where you can answer the interview questions as well. So let's get started. So what are git tags? So git tags are generally used to point some specific commits. So whenever you are point, uh, committing something or uh, whenever you have a stable commits to git remote and you can mark that as a one tag where you can specify a tags like uh, version 1.0 or version 1.1 .1, which will use to read a stable version for your reference and Likewise, we have a branches in Git. So similarly, we have a tags. So you can create a multiple tags for one branch or a different branch. You can create all of them. And when it comes to the types of tags, so we have two types, which is annotated tag and lightweighted tag. Annotated tag can store extra metadata information, which is containing some developer information or some project related information. You can add those information and you can add a tag where is a lightweighted tag where you can directly add and which is very straightforward tag which is added to a specific commit so we'll see all step by step using command line and this is my local repository and this is my git bash so let's quickly check the git status to see if there is any untracked or uncommitted files so it has everything and in case I am working on the master branch which is a main branch and in case if you wanted to do this operation on a branch you can do just check out the branch using the git checkout and the branch name and you can use those. So let's see how we can create a tag. So before that we need to verify if there is any tags created so you have cloned some project and you wanted to see for that you can do git tag. So git tag help you to view the tags which are created already which are existing. Right, we don't have any tags here. So we'll create one tag now. Git tag and you need to provide a tag name. Like you can provide a project, project version 1.1 like or you can provide version 1.1 .1 or 1.0 so this is the first one right so 1.0 so you can click enter and it will create a tag now you wanted to see whether the tag is created or not just use a git tag right there is a 1.0 is created so this is a light weighted tag so it doesn't contain any metadata you can directly create on a specific commit so now you wanted to add a few more uh, tags here you can do the same thing you can create multiple tags you can provide 1.1 .1. you can add those tags for example you wanted to add annotated tag for that you have to follow this command git tag for annotated tag you need to provide specify a which represents annotated tag and you can provide the version 1.2 and you can provide a message for it. You can specify hyphen hem and you can message. You can specify message like developer information, Suresh and like project Z. Likewise, you can mention and you can do this. And now you wanted to view or you wanted to show all the tags. Then you can use git tag directly. Now it will provide all the tags information and there are different commands that used to manage this viewing the tags like one is a git tag another one is a git show right so this will uh, provide you the information of tag which is an annotated tag that we created and normal tags that we created so you can view all those tags here like tag uh, v1.0 tag v1.1 and v1.2 so all those tags you can view here using a show tag or you can you wanted to uh, list all the tags information like you have some uh, like bunch of uh, 
tags created with the prefix as some project or prefix as some version so you wanted to view all of them then you can use git tag l you need to specify l and you need to provide some prefix i mean starting characters like uh, you can provide a v and then you can provide wildcard star so this will view all the starting tag which is start with v and it will provide all the tags now we have v right in case if i try to view the g kind so g then there is no tags with that starting character right so this is help you to quickly view uh, what are tags being created for project one project two project three so this is very simpler in that case now these all tags are exist in my local only so let me quickly show you my get repository so this is a remote repository in remote repository i have only one branch and zero tags so i wanted to push the tags which are being created just now so we have three tags created and i wanted to push those tags into my remote so for that you can push one by one or you can push all at once so to push one by one a tag i can specify git push origin and you can specify the version number 1.0 so this will push that particular version into my git repository now a version 1 is been went to my git remote so let me go to remote and refresh right we have one tag created you can see here number is incremented and likewise you wanted to push all the tags so we have two more tags i wanted to push all of them at once so i can do git push origin hyphen hyphen tags right now the two more tags been pushed into my remote now if i go back to remote repository and try to refresh now you can see three tags are there in my remote right and you wanted to view the local if there are any tags then you can use git tag you can still see the three tags which are available in both the places now you have tags in local and also in the remote now you have created and you have pushed the, the tags to the remote now you wanted to delete one tag so how you wanted to do and there is a command called git tag for deleting you need to specify hyphen d small d and you need to provide a tag version number or tag number tag 1.0 i want to delete this tag so you can use this tag to delete and you can see whether it is deleted or not git tag right now the tag is not there now you can see only two tags which is version 1.1 version 1.2 and you can delete using a different command too like uh, git tag hyphen hyphen delete and you can specify the version number 1.1 so this is a one one more command to delete the tag now you can specify the list of the tags then you can see there is only one tag now all these tags are being deleted now but these are not actually deleted in your remote when you go to remote and just you refresh again you can still see the three tags are there but here on the git bash you can see only one tag exists but those two tags are not deleted in the remote so now you can use a command to delete from remote as well so to delete that you can do git push origin and you need to specify like you did for tag hyphen d and you can provide the version number 1.0 right now you can go and refresh one more time in the git remote now you can see there are two tags because it, one tag has been deleted so likewise you can do a similar kind of command where you have git push git push origin hyphen hyphen delete version 1.1 1 .1.
So instead of D, you can use the full command, which is a D. So in case if you wanted to delete the multiple tags, then how you wanted to do? So to delete multiple tags, you can specify get tag hyphen D, and you can specify the version numbers like this: version one dot one and version one dot two and space version. 1.3 likewise you can provide so this command will execute and this will delete all a multiple tags at a time so you can see there is a version 1.0 and version 1.0 is not there because those are already deleted and version 1.2 is also deleted just now 1.3 is not exist so this is how you do a multiple deleting and where you can do the same thing for get remote as well so now in remote i have uh, two tags I wanted to delete all of them at once to do that. So you can do git push origin hyphen D and you can specify version 1.1 version 1.2. So these are the two uh, available tags in my remote. So you can execute this. This will delete all from my remote. Now you go to remote and just refresh see all tags got deleted so this is how you delete the multiple tags from the remote and multiple tags from the local now if if you wanted to add a tag uh, to uh, last committed or before last commit and how you can do that so simply type git log so you will see all the recent commits that you have been done right so there is an one commit which is happened on july 25th so I wanted to add a tag for this commit. So you can do copy this entire uh, commit ID or you can copy a partial ID also. Right. You can copy this complete ID. Let me copy. So I have Monday, July 25, 26th. Right. I wanted to do commit for this. Okay. Or add a tag for this for that so i have these many commits and i wanted to add a tag for one of the commits so this is my commit on july 26th right i wanted to add a tag for that july 26th commit which is in a past history so for that you can do git tag and you can specify the tag number like version 2.0 and you can specify a partial matching commit id or complete complete uh, id right this is a commit id i have provided so let's hit enter and you can do git tag that you have version 2.0 created and you can push that to remote so for that git push origin and you can specify the tag number version 2.0 right it has now went to our git remote so let me open again my get remote repository and refreshes now you can see there is one tag created let me click on this tag now you can see there is a tag added to uh, one of the commit so let's see the commit details so the my tag is added to one of the past history commit which is on july 26 which is a 23 days ago right this is how you add tags normal tagging annotated tagging and add a tag to the past committed commits so this is how we manage all the tags in the get repository so this will help you to manage all the stable versions or you can pinpoint the stable versions which are are ready to go live or release so you can add these tags to that versions and how you manipulate the tags and delete and manage those tags in local and remote so all this information we have seen right
आई होप दिस सेशन इज यूजफुल फॉर यू इन केस इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड डू शेयर यूर कमेंट्स फीडबैक थैंक यू